Hi, I'm CB. I'm at Cedar Rock Park today in Alamance County, North Carolina. Thanks for checking out this park with me today. It was established in 1975 on a historic farm of John and Polly Garrett, and it has six miles of hiking trails, six miles of equestrian trails separate, two disc golf courses with a total of 36 holes, foot golf course, a historic farm restored to the late 1800s, two fishing ponds, there's a waterfall, picnic shelters, gazebo, basketball court, volleyball court, playground, canoe and kayak rentals, camping, and just a place you could even throw a frisbee. Well, I learned something new today. I didn't even know there was a foot golf. I didn't know what the heck it was. But basically, you don't have clubs, and it's a bigger ball than a golf ball. These people are shown just kicking that soccer ball into the different holes, and there's a scorecard with it. So, hi, this is one of the disc golf. And um, I confess, I can't even throw a Frisbee regular to my husband. Ask him. He's like, I'm a terrible thrower. I'll throw it the other right way. So disc golf is not my thing. But apparently they try to get it in this hole. And it's like regular golf. If you get, you know, if it takes you less time to get in so many holes, um, you win. Unlike my golfing, like in college, I used to joke that the one time I went golfing was that is the higher score wins, but that's not the case. <laughs> they didn't like my rule. I'm going to take off my mask because I'm the only one out here. And um, there's not anyone not six feet around me, not even like 20 feet around me. So I thought I'd take that off. Just show you the pretty green area behind me. It's beautiful. I, I haven't been out here for like a year or so, and the other area is now open too. And I'll take you, there's a farm here too. And there's, like I said, several hiking trails. It's, it's really pretty. Um, it's nice that they keep these up. I just wish it wasn't going to rain because I just drove like 20 minutes. But, you know, that's life. I'll get to film instead. And I'll meet my friend here tomorrow. I got to tell you a funny story. Years ago, Jay would be very nice to me and say, I don't think we should go out. It's getting ready to rain. And I'd be like, ah, oh, it's just like taking a shower. You get a little bit, you get a little bit of wet. It's no big deal. Well, then we were at Canadian Valley hiking and all of a sudden a thunderstorm came up. And so he's like, ah, this is why I didn't want to take you out years ago, even when it looked like rain, but you'd be like, it's okay, it's just going to be like taking a shower. And I, I was running and saying, my showers don't have lightning and thunder in them. So that's our joke now that um, I say, you know, he's like, he had been stuck in storms. And so he knew and he didn't want, he wanted to keep me hiking. So he didn't want me to necessarily be stuck in a storm. So that day, and we still laugh about that now, that's probably been 15 years because I was like, running for shelter saying my showers don't have lightning and thunder in them <laughs> that storm came up very unexpected we were at canaan valley west virginia although it was so beautiful up there hi everyone i'm out here at cedar rock park it's isle of Man's county park burlington north carolina um it's showing that the rock creek trail is 2.2 miles there is a Curtis Mill Trail, 0.4 miles, a Spoon Branch Trail, 2 miles, an Equestrian Trail, 6.3 miles. Um, it looks like the elevation they're showing is up to 2,000 feet, although I'm amazed it's kind of that high because it didn't seem that hard here. Um, there is a frisbee golf that a lot of people like it's disc golf and it's pretty popular here i'll show you that's number hole number eight i guess down here and um it's a, just a beautiful area big green um beautiful area 
The other side is similar to that too. The other side has a um, like a rest place you could you could sit in too with covering over there. This is the Cedar Rock Historical Farm established by John and Polly Garrett in 1830. It's pretty cool. They've kept this farm and really kind of upgraded the house some. I'm going to show you. I'm going to head on over there. It's been a while since I've been over there, but they've done an amazing job keeping that. It says today this small log home is now considered one of the earliest structures in the district. There's the dinner bell and I presume the outhouse back there. They're showing a post office of 1860. and the carriage shed back there. You know, I take it so for granted when I turn on the water spigot, but you know, back in the old days, they got the water from the well. They had to drop that bucket down and get water from the well, and that's how they got it. They didn't turn on their spigot in the kitchen or the bathrooms or just turn on their shower. They got the water from the bucket. I'm fortunate that I I'm born in my era in 1959. Oh my gosh, this is another reason I am so grateful I wasn't born before outhouses. It said the corn crib located on your left was a special building used for storing corn and other grains. The corn would be picked from the fields and stored here with or without the husk. The slants that are on the side of the building allowed for air to circulate through the corn, after the corn dried, the farmer would separate the kernels from the cob using a hand-cranked sheller. A little bit harder than me going to the frozen food section at the grocery store. Conveniently located near the corn crib was the outhouse. Since toilet tissue had not been invented, the soft corn husk was the preferred choice. And... Oh, they have even a bunch of corn in there to show, to show, show the corn crib. So, so to the right of the carriage shed is a blacksmith shop. Even though this building is not original, the blacksmith was very important to the farmer. They produce handmade objects out of both iron and steel that would be beneficial to the farm. Many farmers had blacksmithing skills and would be called on by others in the community to make or repair things for others. And then the right is the carriage shed. This is the one of the six original buildings to the site. And check out the carriages. Wow. It looks like that goat has found the perfect place that they want to sit. Hey, thanks for coming along today and checking out this park with me. Bye now.